Halibut Point was at one time a main source of granite to the other places in the U.S. The state park today is in Rockport, Massachusetts and included the Babson Quarry where the 440 million year old granite was located. Halibut Point was first called Hallabout Point because of its location. Wind currents tended to shift around this area, causing mariners to haul about their sails. From the start of the 1840s, granite was quarried on a small scale from this site. But the granite started being quarried on a larger scale when the Rockport Granite Company bought the Babson Farm Quarry from a local farmer, Samuel Gott. Granite was one of the only materials that were used to make large structures of that time. It was used to pave many roads as well as to build bridges, tunnels, warehouses, large buildings, and monuments. One example of a building made from this granite is the Custom House Tower in Boston. The workers had to use an arrangement of pulleys and clocks and tackles. These were called derricks. The derricks had a mast, which was the long vertical post as well as a boom or horizontal arm. These were powered by either manpower or oxen. The steam engine wasn't invented yet. The largest derrick at Halibut Point was built in 1912 and had a mass of 107 feet. When large granite blocks were lifted by a derrick, there would be large holes called a dog hole that would be drilled into each end in order for it to hold the tips of giant hooks called dogs. Dogs were suspended by cables from the derrick. Once the granite was surfaced, oxen would move it and it would be shaped into paving blocks, curbing, building stones, or ornamental pieces. In order for the derrick to stay in place, large iron staples, known as dead men, would help anchor the derrick in place. In order to split the granite, workers would make holes in the stone with the use of a flat chisel. Then, they would drive flat wedges into the holes but as time passed, the tools advanced, and by the 1830s, new chisels with V-shaped cutting edges were used. They would twist the chisel to make circular holes. This method wasn't the best one, though, because 75% of the stone would slip crookedly and was thrown into the grout pile. One kind of granite that was quarried here was called seam-faced granite. It was orange and brown in color from all the water seeping through the cracks over thousands of years. The iron containing minerals would rust, giving the stone its color. But because of its color, it was considered a stone that was undesirable. But once the 1900s came around, it was more popular in being veneers for the surfaces of buildings. It was cut into very thick pieces and then polished to a high gloss. Seventy-five pound slabs were put on boats and shipped off to places in need of the granite. The breakwater off the coast of Rockport was made from the granite. But in 1929, the stock market crashed and nobody wanted granite anymore. They started using concrete and asphalt. It was cheaper to use and more abundant. The Babson Farm Quarry, as well as many other quarries around the area, closed down and within one year, the Rockport Granite Company ran out of business. The land at Halibut Point was left untouched for many years until World War II started. 
1943, the Artillery Fire Control Tower was built. The military history of Halibut Point goes all the way back to the War of 1812. New England was trading with France when the British made a blockade. The British boats would stop American boats. The people of Rockport would capture seamen and wouldn't release them until the British agreed to leave. The watchtower was used to watch out for and spot enemy ships coming in during World War II. It also provided aiming information for the massive coastal defense guns guarding the Boston and Portsmouth harbors. Now, the quarry is open to the public to come and view. It is kept up for scenic conservation and historic purposes, and it is owned partly by the trustees of reservation. They first got some of this land back in 1934 and bought the rest in 1981. The Sea Rocks are owned by the town of Rockport. The park is accessible all year round and is extremely beautiful. But if you go on a hot day, just remember, there is no swimming in the quarry.